Now, sometimes in your videos, you might have things that you rather not see or you want to emphasize something in your video. So in this tutorial, we're going to cover cropping your video as well as rotating it. So I've got a few clips in here already and I'm going to look at various ways to crop. And remember the crop menu up here, you have three ways to crop your footage. You can choose fit and that will put the entire clip inside the project. So everything in this frame here will go into the project. Now you can also crop to fill. So say I wanted to emphasize just this building here and I only wanted that building to appear in the footage, it's like zooming into it. But unlike Ken Burns where you pan and you zoom and you still have the entire footage, crop to fill means you can emphasize certain parts of your clip. Now you can also do that with picture in picture. So on top of this particular clip, I could put another clip, picture in picture, and crop that to fill. So I could zoom in on one part of that clip. And Ken Burns is panning and zooming your whole clip just for a different effect. Let's start with crop to fit. So in this clip, which is just of some rowers rowing down a river, if I select crop, and crop to fit, which is on there by default, the entire footage is put into that project. So everything around it. Now I might want to crop out this particular part here because it's not serving any purpose and maybe I want to focus just on the rowers. So I could do crop to fill. Then taking the corners, I can go diagonally and it keeps the aspect ratio go diagonally from either end but I can't go horizontally and vertically so if I want to take out the background there I can but it's also taking a bit more uh, of the rowers and I, if I, I can't keep them if I want to put them in but I keep moving eventually I can get it but I've still got a little bit missing and as you drag you start to get more of that background in that you don't want. Now we'll show you how you can avoid that in a moment. Click the tick to apply and when you play that now you just zoomed in on the rowers. Now that's when you when you crop something in the timeline. You've already selected that bit of footage from your event you put it into your project and now you're cropping it and you're a bit more restricted in how you can crop when you put it into your timeline. If you go into your events, so I've got some footage here of the traffic and if I want to just zoom in on that blue truck and I just want that section of the road and I want to crop out the lower part now you can do cropping in your source. So selecting the, the part that I want, and notice this time when I click crop, that I don't have those other options, crop to fit, crop to fill, or can burn. So I only get one area. So cropping the source video means that everything that you crop will apply to that whole clip. So let's just crop a bit. Start back here where the truck comes into view. And I've got more control over what area I can crop. So I can go horizontal and vertical and diagonal. So if I want this part, so I take the whole part of the truck. Maybe you have it wider and take that much and then select the tick to apply and 
that's worked because now all I have is the truck going past and the lower part is gone. But I've also cropped everything else too. All the rest of the clip has also been cropped to that. The only way to get around that is then select the part I want. So I just want this part of the, of the footage and put that into the project. And then go back and reset so that everything is back to what it was. And when I go back to the truck, all of it's there. But on my clip, I've just got that bit. When you put it into your timeline, it has black bars. So what you have to do then is go back to crop and crop to fill and select the part you want to fill. So I can't go, I can't get this part, but I can take all of the, the truck and apply that. And now I have got what I want to because I can't see the lower part of the road and there's no black bars and everything back in the original source material is back to its normal size. So that's cropping to fit from the source and from your timeline. You can also do crop with a picture in picture. So I've split this clip because I've got this part, so you want to make it a bit bigger. And then I want to focus on just this building in the, the foreground here. So I'm going to crop that one to fill and try and manoeuvre that as closely as I can just to that building, given my limitations in the cropping in the timeline. Accept it. And then I'm going to put this clip over this one, started about here, as a picture-in-picture. Picture. So go to picture-in-picture. Picture. That there, picture-in-picture. Picture. Go to... Probably put it here to see how it goes. Maybe here, maybe here. On the corner there. Let's put in a shadow and a border so we can see it. Dissolve. Don't need to actually go back in into this clip and go back to crop and crop it again because I already cropped it while it was in the timeline. So when we look at this one, As you're looking at that particular building, I'm going to make that bigger actually, bigger. Just trying to find the best place to put it. Maybe on the bottom. No, leave it there. So as you're looking at the, the footage below, you can get that close up of the, the building in the foreground. So let's recap there. You can crop two bits, which means the whole footage goes into your project. You can crop to fill, where you can zoom in on one aspect of the footage or crop out something you don't want to see. And you either do that on the timeline where you have uh, a bit more restrictions on what you can actually select or you crop from the source and then drag that into the timeline and then uh, crop to fill to take away the black bars and then reset your source because everything will be cropped. So look at Ken Burns. In this footage, we can zoom in on that building so that you get away the, the background of the, the park and slowly zoom in to focus on the main building there. So in this clip it's 10 seconds. We're going to crop that one, Ken Burns. So it could start, take a little bit away from the background and on the end you want to zoom in just on that building. Try and position it and the arrow, you want it to zoom in that direction of the arrow. Just apply to the start. So slowly zooms in on that building. You 
You could do it on this one too. You could zoom in, go back to crop and reset that one and apply Ken Burns to this one. So that we want just those rowers. Go back to the start there. Crop the end point, just the rowers. And apply that. So it zooms in just to focus on the rowers. The longer the clip, the better that will probably look. So if I go a bit further, start that one again. It's now seven seconds. So it zooms in and just focuses on the row. And you could get in really close and just focus on this row in the red shirt. Let's try that. So on the end, let's just look at all the three of them. Can't really get one in, but we can get two. Apply that. And it zooms in just on those two. It's another example of crop to fit. We have split the clip, so I've got somebody busking in the street. Change that to a cross blur, and I want to focus in on just that little doll. So in this one, we're going to crop to fill, just taking the doll with a bit of the back the uh, thing that it's sitting on, just that bit, and the other the the thing you have to remember is that the closer you go in, the more pixelated that will look. So it might not look that good. Apply. Let's play that. And I'll have a little transition and then straight onto the doll and then you can transition out. The last one is just looking at rotate. So you might have some footage that you've taken on a phone, an iPhone, you've taken it in the portrait mode. Uh, and so when you get it into your iMovie, it's the wrong way around. Or you might want to deliberately rotate something for an effect. So in this clip here, I'm going to rotate that one, going up to crop, and there is a rotate. So rotate to the left and just keep going, or you can rotate to the right. So you can fix something or you can create an effect and then apply. Now if you want to reverse something, then select the clip, select crop, and then you can reset that particular one. So in this video, we looked at how you can crop your footage in various ways to enhance it, to fix something, to focus on something, to zoom in on something. All in all to tweak your footage. So that's all for this tutorial.